And they're off. Graceful Union from that outside post races for the lead and is in front and heading to the rail for the run of the opening turn. Toffee comes on to grab second. La Village Lumiere toward the inside settles in third. Miss Analyze comes out in fourth. Wits and Wagers is fifth. Isabella Bella at the back in sixth. And up top, it's Graceful Union. Graceful Union coasting along on the lead, leads by a length and a half. Hard in the heels, though, is Toffee. Toffee's not far behind for the backstretch run. They go 1-2. Their opening quarter was 23-3. and three. So backstretch now. Graceful Union shows the way. Toffee is keeping her honest from second. A margin of four back to La Village Lumiere, who's third in toward the rail. Miss Analyze moving up into fourth. Wits and Wagers is fifth. And now it's six lengths back to Isabella Bella, who's struggling to keep up at this point. The opening half in 47 and two, four for longs to go. Graceful Union hits the far turn, still the leader. Toffee still second, still a length behind as they hit the three-eighths pole. And Graceful Union lets it out a notch. Graceful Union rounding the far turn. Toffee's in a drive. Miss Analyze is getting closer from third. La Village Lumiere is fourth and Wits and Wagers is fifth. They move for the top of the stretch. Graceful Union still in front at the quarter pole. Toffee in a full out drive. Miss Analyze third. Wits and Wagers is coming down the center. They head for the mid stretch marker. Graceful Union asked to quicken. Toffee still there. Wits and Wagers down the center. Miss Analyze fights on. Graceful Union trying to tough it out. Here comes Wits and Wagers on the far outside and Toffee between them. Here's the wire and Wits and Wagers got it. Wits and Wagers runs them all down. Toffee second. Graceful Union settles for third. Miss Analyze was fourth. They're in the game and they're off. And Super Renee breaks in stride right on top and heading for the lead, angling over toward the rail. crack -a lacking tries to push through toward the inside there. In a bit tight, but pressing nonetheless. Super Renee and crack -a lacking comes on through to take charge. crack -a lacking the leader down the back stretch run. Super Renee backs off into second. La Vie right up and on the pace, three wide on the outside third. Two lengths back to My My Money, advancing in between. Just we repeat is wide. Love of my life is down in inside and trailing, but it's a tight pack on the far turn. In the opening quarter contested in 21-3. and three. They round the turn. crack -a lacking trying to hold on to the lead. Super Renee traveling well. Right alongside these two head-to-head. -head. La Vie, three wide third. Just we repeat is revving up on the far outside up into third now. So they're off the turn. crack -a lacking trying to see it out. Super Rene is there. Je suis rapide. Upset chance down the center. And My My Money switched out for the final furlong. One furlong to go. Super Rene fully extended by Je suis rapide, who has taken the lead. Je suis rapide, indeed. Gets up over Super Rene, crack -a lacking and My My Money. Are in the gate. And they're off. Blue Kentucky bounced out on top. Solidify is away okay. Attaboy Anthony on the far outside, flashing some early speed too. And up the chute they go, and it's Attaboy Anthony on the extreme outside, up for narrow lead. Slam Dunk Sermon comes on to be second. Blue Kentucky eased off the pace into third. Soaring Bird tugging at the rider, up into fourth while down inside. Solidifies out in fifth, followed by American Pure sixth. Tapaj to trailer in seventh, but only four lengths off the leader. And that leader is Slam Dunk Sermon heading to the half-mile pole. Slam Dunk Sermon, opening quarter mile, 23 and one-fifth seconds. They're on the far turn. Slam Dunk Sermon, the leader. Attaboy Anthony, hard on the chase second. Solidify three wide third. Blue Kentucky within range fourth. Two lengths behind and finds a seam now. And here comes Blue Kentucky, three wide and on through toward the front. So they come to the top of the stretch. Solidifies very wide off the turn, challenging Blue Kentucky. Slam Dunk Sermon cut the corner, the three of them across the track. American Pures cut loose down the center too. One for long to go. Slam Dunk Sermon determined down inside. Blue Kentucky fully extended. So to solidify. Soaring Bird is late on the scene. Slam Dunk Sermon kicked it in again. And Slam Dunk Sermon never looked back once he made the top. Blue Kentucky second. It's tight for third. 
They're in the gate. And they're off. Awkward and tough start there for Cecile. Squeeze back at the break. She's a small town girl racing for the lead and Vanished comes on as well. Masterful Meg down toward the inside and from the outside, Evie's Encore comes on to join them. But Vanished is the quickest one into the opening turn. Opens up to lead by length and a quarter and angles over toward the inside. So it's Vanished in front. Evie's Encore up into second. She's a small town girl toward the inside racing in third. Glamour Anna on the move while wide and MCAT is right there too. They're fourth and fifth together. OK Fine is back racing in sixth. Exhibit Hall cruising along while seventh just say so is eighth. Masterful Meg broke near the top but is back in ninth down toward the rail. I'll bring it two and a half lengths back to Strategized. Stay Lost is second last early, and C seals the trailer. The opening quarter goes in 23 and three fifth seconds. They head for the far turn after a half in 48 and one. Vanished on top for the far turn. Opens up a length. Evie's Encore is on the chase racing second. MCAT revs up on the outside. Here's MCAT up into second now. Farther back, it's she's a small town girl. Glamour Anna is there. Okay, fine in between. Just say so is buried in behind horses with Masterful Meg. They're off the turn. Vanished, still in front. In front by two now. Vanished by three with one furlong to go. MCAT tried hard. Okay, fine comes on late. Down the center, Cecile's finishing with a rush, but time is running out to catch Vanished. The lead's down to two. Cecile is flying outside. Here comes Cecile. Got it. Right on the wire. Cecile runs down Vanished. Just say so was third, and OK Fine was fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. Lord Captain. With a good start, so two huge bigly. Mystic Knight is there. Test Pilot backs off them. Heading for the clubhouse, turn in huge bigly. Goes out to show the way. Angles over toward the rail with Lord Captain right alongside second. That put Mystic Knight in a bit tight, third toward the rail. Had to take up briefly and is now in cramped quarters down toward the rail. Test Pilot comes on to grab fourth. Digital settles into the rail fifth. Mobster Gun at the back in sixth. They're cruising along to the backstretch run. No pace on. Huge Bigley short lead. Opening quarter in 24 and 4 fifth seconds. It's a pokey pace down the backstretch run. Huge Bigley the leader and Lord Captain prompting second. Mystic Knight on a long hold third in toward the rail. And here comes Mobster Gun. Mobster Gun with a backstretch move. Fifth, fourth, and now third on the outside. So Mobster Gun comes on to challenge the top two. Test Pilot is back into fifth. The trailer is digital. Heading for the far turn, Huge Bigly still the leader. Lord Captain still second. Mystic Knight and Mobster Gun. Mobster Gun's now back into fourth and now tries to come on back into third. They're a length behind the top two at the back. Test Pilot and Digital. So around the far turn, more pressure for Huge Bigly. Lord Captain cruises up alongside. Lord Captain comes up alongside of Huge Bigly. They head for home together. Mystic Knight comes wide for the stretch drive. Mobster Gun is there. Digital is coming up the rail. One for long to go. Lord Captain comes away with the lead. Digital continues to rally. Mobster Gun fights on. Mystic Knight is there. Final 16th. Lord Captain. Mobster Gun. Digital down inside. Lord Captain still has the lead. Got it. Lord Captain. They couldn't get by him. Mobster Gun. Digital and Mystic Knight. They're in the gate. And they're off. Good beginning for Heartbreaker. Floki's flight was away well, too, as they race up the chute and head for the main track. And Heartbreaker comes on through to take the lead. So it's Heartbreaker in front. Floki's flight right there, second. Charging arrow with them in the outside third. Five lengths back from there. Ram comes through toward the inside to grab fourth from Invisible War, who's back into fifth. Raymond is racing sixth. Guntown is seventh. And Lucky Boss is the trailer. So down the back stretch run. Three ply battle through a sharp quarter in 22 and two. Heartbreaker down inside. Floki's flight in between. Charging arrow trying to keep up with them. Under a ride on the outside third. Still five or so lengths back to Ram who's racing in fourth. Invisible Wars on the outside fifth. Raymond six. Guntown sent down between to within eight lengths of the lead as they round the far turn. Floki's flight 
grabs the lead right outside the quarter pole and willingly takes the lead into the stretch. Floki's flight off the turn in front by two. Heartbreaker back to second. Charging Arrow fights on. Ram is rallying in between. Guntown is rallying down the center. One for long to go. Floki's flight clear by four. Guntown runs up into second. Ram is third, final 16th. Floki's flight clear by three and will win it by three. Floki's flight sharp there. Guntown second, Ram third, charging arrow fourth. They're the gate and they're off. F5 from the inside breaks out on top. Redon comes on to challenge these two, one, two early on. And then Bold Looker comes on in the outside up into third as Trending holds that spot toward the rail with Courageously. Meanwhile, Redon is keyed up, pumped up, and tugging at Martin Garcia. They've opened up to lead by four. Quite unsettled, and there's a long way to go. Redon comes into the stretch the first time, clear by five. F5 backs off into second, trending toward the inside, third, courageously racing, fourth, bold looker in the clear in the outside, fifth, Jero settles in nicely toward the rail, sixth, policy option in some traffic there, while seventh, Silent Steve on the outside in eighth, Bose K. Redondo toward the inside is racing ninth, Princely advances in between from tenth, Fowler Blues back in eleventh, and the trailer is always above, and the clear-cut leader is Reed On. Reed On has opened up by ten lengths. On the second of three turns in the middle portions of this race, Redon has built a huge lead with a long way to go still. F5, eight lengths back, cruising along while second. Trending comes off the rail from third. Courageously continues on in the clear fourth. Jero continues to travel well down inside fifth, coasting along. Still about nine lengths off this runaway leader, though. In between horses, policy options making some progress. Policy option quickly making progress all the way up into fourth, about to be third. And that forces Jero to go with him. So they're closing in on the tiring read on. Read on down inside is tiring. Jero is stuck in behind this tired horse. So on the far turn, F5 and policy option. The two of them come away with the lead. They're one, two round the far turn. Trending's now racing third. Jero's given more rain fourth. Bold Lookers racing fifth, courageously in sixth. They race for the top of the stretch. Policy option at F5. Come off the turn together. F5 on the outside. Policy option at the rail. Head to head with trending third and trying to close. Jerose in fourth. Courageously fifth. Always above down the center. Six. One for long to go. F5 is roused to the lead and opens up in deep stretch. F5 now by three. Policy option trending and Jero F5 first. Policy option did hold second. Trending was third. Jero was fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. Pretty even start. Seven flat and crump and junior's gift. The three of them looking for the lead. American icon is there. Triple Elvis comes on. Farther out, wake serve. Triple Elvis. Moves out to grab the lead. Wake Surf's going to come on to be second, and they go 1-2 up the shooting for the main track. Triple Elvis down inside, short lead. Wake Surf running in second. And then it's Crump who's tucked away toward the inside third. Junior's Gift in between horses, racing fourth down the back stretch run. Tepe Yu moves up into fourth. Junior's Gift was in tight there, shuffled back a bit. Costa Terra in the clear, and they got outside six, seven flat seventh. And then it's American Icon down inside, trailing pretty tight pack. Opening quarter, just 23-3. and three. Halfway home now, and it's Triple Elvis, the leader. They sped up that half, 46-3. and three. Far turn run. Triple Elvis holding on to a narrow advantage. Wake Surf is right there, and Tepe Yu comes on three wide. Crump is still buried at the inside fourth, but only two lengths off the lead. Costa Terra sent up on the outside, and seven flat comes alive. Junior's Gift tries to come on through between. American Icon is at the back. As the field hits the top of the stretch, here comes Tepe Yu, three wide off the turn. Wake Surf with a good effort so far, hanging tough in between. Costa Terra is there, Junior's Gift, seven flat, continues to rally. One for long to go. Tepe Yu's in front, trying to get away from the field. Junior's Gift comes off cover. Final try for Junior's Gift. Tepe Yu in front of length. Junior's Gift finishing with interest, but can't get by. Tepe Yu the winner. Junior's Gift second. Then it was either Crump. Costa Terra or seven flat.
They're in the gate. And they're off. Adeline Julia broke out well from the far outside. You're so silly at mid-pack, and somebody's problem comes through toward the rail. Those three scrimmaging for the lead with Fast Giselle right in behind. Portilla sent up on through. Portilla's right up on the leader's heels as they move up the back stretch. You're so silly. Short lead. Somebody's problem right there. Second. Adeline Julia's on the outside. Third. Portilla's in fourth. In tight. Fast Giselle fifth. Ironic twist is sixth. Mufi's in seventh. Well spent is eighth. Love of my heart is ninth by six or seven. My Kentucky girl just ahead of Street Jam on the far turn. The opening quarter in 21 and two. Round the far turn you're so silly holding on to the lead Adeline Julia is coming under pressure trying to keep up heading for the quarter pole somebody's problems right in behind with Portia ironic twist is under pressure as they come off the turn so they have to catch You're So Silly, who's got a two-length lead. Adeline Julia's coming again. Adeline Julia putting in another bid right at the eighth pole. You're So Silly fully extended as Adeline Julia draws alongside, takes over, and is off to the wire. Adeline Julia from just off the pace to score by a length and a half in the end. You're So Silly was second. My Kentucky girl rallied for third. Portia checks in fourth. They're in the gate, and they're off. And Private Creed breaks out alertly and is racing for the lead. Crispy Cat is there, so too two of a kind. Gaslight Dancer prominent early as well. Up the back stretch they go. Two of a kind comes on through. Two of a kind, the leader, Crispy Cat, right alongside. These two knock heads early. Private Creed's just off them racing third with Gaslight Dancer down inside fourth. Gilcrease on the move from the rail fifth. Turingo's racing in sixth. None Hudson, three wide seventh. Four lengths back, Gajis to trailer. Round the far turn, two of a kind continues to spar with Crispy Cat. Gaslight Dancer set to strike, but nowhere to go. Private Creed is keeping him pinned down toward the inside. None Hudson comes wide off the turn, top of the stretch. Two of a kind and Crispy Cat continue to tussle. No Nona Hudson's coming strongly. Gaslight Dancer's in between. No punch yet. Private Creed is there. One for long to go. No Nay Hudson comes away with the lead and opens up to the wire. No Nay Hudson scores by two. Two of a kind held second. Gaslight Dancer was third, then it was tight between Crispy Cat and Private Creed. They're in the gate. And they're off. Patton's War breaks out alertly. So too does Lupo's Legacy. Lundberg is there. A little and a lot in Magnificent Mile. But they're all chasing Patton's War, who builds a two-length lead in the first few jumps. Patton's War down the back stretch, run five for lungs out. Lundberg comes on to grab second. Magnificent Mile in a bit tight toward the inside third. Lupo's Legacy is racing fourth. A little and a lot is fifth. Speaking of the devil, an up close six. Three lengths back, go in the field in seventh. Liberty's Hollers at the back in eighth. They round the far turn, sharp opening fraction, 21 and 2 for Patton's War. Three furlongs to hold on to the lead. Here comes Lupo's Legacy, three wide and quickly coming on to challenge as Lupo's Legacy. Lungberg is there. A little and a lot comes to the outside as well. Farther back, speaking of the devil, comes off the rail with own the field. Liberty's hauler is wide off the turn. They're at the top of the stretch, and it's still Patton's War. Patton's War turned back that bid of Lupo's Legacy. A little and a lot dives down to the rail with Speaking of the Devil. And on the field comes down the center. Patton's words getting a bit leg weary in these final hundred yards. Lupo's legacy, a little and a lot. Here comes on the field. Here comes the wire. Patton's war held on. Got to the wire in time. Three of them in the photo for second, third, and fourth. They include on the field, Lupo's legacy.